I'm going to put it this way. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Is this guy a relative from, uh, from the husband of Kamala Harris? I don't know. Uh, whatever it is, whatever it might be. Because why? I don't know. Because why the fuck? Eh? You interact with so many people. I did during MK Ultra. Uh, and, you know, the cousin and brother and this and that and so on. No, no. The point here is that it's, it's just I don't want to waste my time. Uh, this news is designed to waste my time, but I am taking time in this case because I want to well document one and because I want to end this ancient slavery trade that runs these days still deep inside of the United States of America. It's actually kind of designed to serve multicultural, multiracial. Uh, purpose, basically, not the articles about which are the happiest countries around the world. You know what I mean? I wouldn't pay attention to this article because I know it's a waste of time. I could, if I would waste my fucking time, my life, paying garbage attention to garbage like this. And these people, by the way, they get paid when they do manage to steal my time. Because after all of this shit I have gone through, there will be a lengthy, lengthy, lengthy legal procedure. It's, it's Kamala Harris, one of the people that constantly reminded me of that. They had the police force that would remind me of that. There was all kinds of stuff that oh, basically just begged me to give up, to let it go. But, you know, that's why I decided, uh, you know, the world uh, is turning in the direction they discussed about due to overwhelming workforce, number of people are going to be laid because of artificial intelligence, because of the robotized industry, uh, that future of the people, the human beings, is just destined basically to become more and more controlled by the state, with about probably 80% excessive workforce at this point, probably. 80% of people in car manufacturing and other manufacturing not robotized, not entirely robotized. Uh, sector of production, manufacturing, it's going to be laid off. Basically, folks, that's eight out of ten people. And now they're looking for all kinds of possibilities and the way out of this. Uh, and yeah, I wouldn't take so much time on this video. But since they insisted on it so much, trying to make me sick, I'm going to get uh, them what they like, sicker than sick. I think I, in coming years, because of the number of people that are going to be paid, uh, that means you're going to have a psychiatry. I'm not going to set at all point, at all time high. You're going to have more and more worse. You're going to have all kinds of uh, turmoils around the world. You're going to have a psychiatry in the fifth gear, telling people on a mass scale, there's going to be more mental hospitals, more prisons. There will be less number of people. They're going to be laid off, replaced by machines. Uh, that I decided actually to end this Jewish ancient trade, uh, known now during the modern times. Uh, let's say even as. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission Brokers. That, that sounds evil enough. Like our real estate brokers, like, let's say, um, mortgage brokers, um, whatever kind of brokers, uh, the ancient Jewish slavery issues shifted into the area of 
the so-called equal employment rights, equal employment opportunity. So that's why I, I don't fear discussing this issue. Issues. It's going to leave landmark. It's going to leave a strong reminder to the people around the world, basically, on how to view the whole matter and why it's taking place. Whatever you are, whoever you are, you're going to feel less guilty for being, I don't know, bullets into resigning from your employment uh, or just thrown out on the street or just uh, whatever the case might be. And well, based on my own experience, maybe do the right thing and follow up with your life. Because, you know, complaint to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission is simply um, not a one-time procedure. It's a life decision that one must carry out and continue to carry on throughout uh, his life. And the worst thing they can do once you decide on those steps is about basically negotiate, broker uh, something existing rather than to finalize it, rather than to get it done, rather than to realize it. Because once you do that, you give them grounds for more abuse, for more crime against you. Um, the best time to do this procedure, basically, to do something like this, that's actually when you feel you have to do it. Because you probably, in my case, this was like way overdue, but uh, you're probably at this point, you really think that you can't handle it anymore, and that's why you decided. So the important thing is to stick with it uh, and get it through, basically. Get it done. It will also help other people from other countries, or maybe this country, to deal with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission in the United States in deciding on life in the United States of America. So the country basically designed for multiracial, multi-ethnic uh, society that should function based on justice uh, and, of course, equality, right? So it should be. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to change that, manipulate that. Uh, when the people say, oh, it's a government and so on, no. It's exactly the people I'm discussing in this video. It's not government. Uh, the truth is that corrupt people get into this circle and they do this stuff, but it's definitely not. It's definitely the people I am discussing in this video. That's why. Kamala Harris and her husband said, that's sick, that's a sick article. And I am going to say with a smile on my face, there you go, that's a sicker one for you. And I hope it's going to leave you a landmark. I hope it's going to remind a lot of people about them being people, act like people, take initiative in being a human being. This allow anybody to dehumanize you because basically you're being brainwashed on a daily basis, through the radio, through the internet, through the TV, about the Holocaust, by actually those who committed one and those that are committed to abuse one for their own advancements, for their own agenda, for their own profits. It could be different. It. Uh, I could decide to avoid this, but I decided for the love of it, for the love of the happiest countries around the world, to just dedicate to this so that you can have something out of it, so that people will remember me about something. So you're not going to be you. Look, imagine this. It was the first Jewish lawsuit that was filed, uh, and I said against Jews, but it doesn't matter. That's already discriminatory. When I said it was first Jewish, fuck that. No, it was first a lawsuit against Jews that was filed. 
It doesn't matter if the guy was Jew, whatever, and his wife, uh, Latina, whatever. By the way, that Latina, I remember now, very, very white one, and I was the one interested in one. And when I was interested in particular female, uh, I used anything I possibly could to break the relationship and, uh, you know, possibly uh, just like, why not? I mean, nobody has the right to torture. And if they're doing stuff like this, you have absolutely the right to use anything you have in your hands to defend your life. And if there is something you can do in other ways, uh, more power to you, put this to you. That's all I'm going to say. So, but there you have it. But, you know, I don't care. I really don't care. It really doesn't matter. What matters is, it was the first Jewish lawsuit, uh, anti-Jewish, basically anti-Jewish. It was first anti-discriminatory uh, lawsuit that took place against Jewish community in the U.S., which is unprecedented thing. It may, might be. Um, just uh, something symbolic, whatever. And I don't feel good, actually, when I think about, you know, her being white. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, she's like really light skin. I shouldn't say she's white, whatever. It's, 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 it's another mistake. But um, we're getting somewhere. You know what I mean? We're getting somewhere. The guy, from what I recall, is uh, a relative from. Uh, husband from Kamala uh, Harris. But I don't care. I don't care about. I don't care about any of it. I don't care about any kind of assistance. I don't care about anybody care for me. Uh, you failed me. You left me on my own. You left me for dead. And I marched through many countries, through many many issues, many crazy situations in my life not to land them out there and bail the people who did stuff to me. No, I don't care. I don't care about, uh, you know. I was thinking about my father. Yesterday I spent a really good time with him. And he and I would go uh, to have some good time yesterday. Paul and I had a good, really good time yesterday. Uh, we would go and we would walk. Uh, actually walk. I would walk him along the uh, like this is basically when we came back and uh, there was some action right there. Did you say that you didn't speak Slovenian? Okay. Did you say that you didn't speak Slovenian? No. Did you say that you but not the chalk relation. Chalk there. We had a good time over there. You know, they have some animals and stuff. Uh, we went with the water is and stuff. I took him out. And everything that you see, you know, everything that you see, I already was subjected to MK Ersha by the novel master police. You know what the novel master police? Officers who took father uh, like this on like on a little excursions with the longest excursion I remember the police investigator took my father uh, just to video record himself next to me. They said this is a, such a scumbaggery. Uh, this is what they were doing. This is the stuff they were doing. He took one all the way to where the general hospital novel master is, all the way down where the bridge is. Uh, from Tashkavora, and that's quite far and quite steep. And he took him for a walk. Uh, he took him on a cart, like I did father yesterday. Uh, all the way, he pushed him all the way down. Uh, and you know, 
I asked them, why all this stuff? What, what's happening and so on? Because they would take me with father to all these locations around, uh, around this little rivulet and so on. And they told me, well, because we don't want you to do your work. We don't want you to, to do your stuff. We don't want you to, uh, to do, basically, to do what? You don't want me to finish my case. So what you're doing is you are delaying, you are dragging this as far as possible, and you are presenting yourself out there just even as somebody who is making me a favor. You're not making me any fucking favor. But guess what? I decided anyway to give you back what you like. Sick. This is sick, right? Sick. This video is sick. You know why it's sick? Because it's going to release a lot of people that you have destined to death. Even the people that you plan on executing through unemployment, through all kinds of long-term unemployment, through all kinds of scams, scumbaggery, all kinds of issues. I hope humanity eventually is going to wake up on time and they're going to get up and they're going to step on your ass and get you where they should have for a long time ago. Because after the slavery, it's this phase, it's known as Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. It's known as, in the name of the human rights, equality and so on. And so, they got it all calculated. You got it all calculated, you got it all done, you got it really everything. Uh, but it's really something else you have not calculated. Basically, God, you miscalculated big time, I think. So I think that this program, eventually, you still managed to steal a lot of money from me, rip me off of my life. That's called life. I watched a video today about Sylvester Stallone, who was explaining about life. Uh, he said, uh, life is about getting hit as hard as possible and have the ability to stand up and get going as fast as possible. Uh, yeah, except that you wouldn't fucking know anything about it. And with you, another giant mass of people that participated in this case, and it, boy, you all fucking knew about everything. And he, he also was one of the people that would give me this free advice and so on and this and that. Uh, posing in public, also next to me, showing his biceps and, uh, you know, showing himself off with car, with the money, with wives and so on, wives, uh, daughters and so on. You see, the thing is, I would take advice from you. But the thing is, you wouldn't fucking know anything about it. Because you didn't go through anything. Sorry. Just going inside of the gym and, you know, do a workout. I don't know what you do every day. Two, three, four hours, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And that doesn't mean, because of the screen roll that you get, that you know something about life. The smartest people that I met, the smartest people that I have seen in my life, are the regular people, just the fucking ordinary people that cope out there and manage somehow to stay alive, uh, basically, in this uh, political zoo. People that go out there and basically do the stuff because it's not, I'm going to even say, not even because it's the right thing to do, but because this is just the way it is. Those are the smartest people, the wisest people, uh, and they do absolutely everything, from police to firework to military, uh, manufacturing, production, whatever you name it. They do the jobs. But yes, in a political world, even in Hollywood, 
you're not gonna find any people like this. There are none. That's why this video must be a little bit sick. So that, you know, maybe even that you get a little sick so that you understand did you get sick enough that you understand that you're a human being? Maybe because there's amount of people, good amount of people out there so abused that actually don't even believe they're part of a human community. They are people. Because there's a good number of people out there disowned from acknowledging uh, anymore they are humans because they take shit for granted because they're abused and this silent majority that is going to become super majority must know there was somebody out there that pointed you out, in fact, that you must watch out that you have to take care of yourself without ever allowing anyone to run you over like this in the name of some kind of cause. And it's actually a universal cause and everybody has the right to it. You know, just a modest, regular, regular people, let's say, a rather used regular or let's say ordinary people who built this society. But we have all kinds of uh, politicians, royals, posing us on uh, exempting us. Uh, when in fact you, the regular human being, you, the regular person, you're the one, you saved the humanity, you're the one that bailed this world out. It's because of you. Not because of them, it's because of you this world still exists. Okay? That's why this video. That's why I decided I'm going to dedicate time to this video, to exactly this video. And I'm going to do this video. <sighs> yeah, if I specifically concern myself in zoom into the person and look at the pictures and so on i recall them events and people and so on even the people that are not listed anywhere and so on yeah sure but i'm not gonna fucking do this due to so many people that was implicated in it i think so many people were implicated in this stuff that is a difficulty time-wise because of other stuff issues that i have to uh, concern myself matter of priorities i'm going to say i want to go and do that not even this story i'm going to bother to read not even this i'm going to go i'm going to go and do other stuff i have to do that's all uh i am glad that this individual did file the lawsuit um he should if he feels like um it's actually quite a deal because he's jewish that he filed a lawsuit against his own community for the sake of uh, for the sake of his uh, for the sake of his family um sometimes they'll do the stuff like this to financially award somebody or wherever whichever way might be whoever you are watching this program in the united states of america or anywhere in the world it's none of your fucking problem do not concern yourself with why somebody, whether he had a connection. Um, it was all kinds of issues that were involved in MKUltra, even suggested me on how they help people uh, of colors or other members of community to sue them so they can compensate them and stuff like that. Stuff like this definitely is happening. Uh, stuff like this also is happening so they can injure other members of the community of American community, uh, I'm sure if the extermination procedure was not taking place against me, I would not be even legible to be told such issue. Yeah, this is like it goes like into the news, like what are the happiest countries around the world? Hell, the happiest countries, you know. Uh, and they were brainwashing me during MK Ultra about this type of stuff. And they started to print this kind of stuff sometimes, I don't know, in 2008 or something. I don't know what it was. 2006, they started to write about the happiest countries around the world. They started to brainwash with an article about the happiest countries. Happiest countries, 2000, it goes to 2004, I think. 
2004, this kind of par uh, articles were started to appear online about the happiest countries around the world, the happiest countries. Um, the name of this extermination procedure was a misery. It was a misery through a torture, through indifferent procedures as to the one that applied to the prisoners at Guantanamo Bay or those in Afghanistan. Basically, sleep deprived, rock you with a torture procedures, with a stress, uh, poison you to affect as much as possible your internal organs. Uh, and make you mentally ill is what basically they hoped for. This was the thing, basically. What I was told by the Slovenian people here, stuff that cannot be seen. Yeah, because if you punch somebody, you can see the injury on his face or whatever. But if you poison, you do the stuff like this systematic degradation of the body uh, in the mind. Uh, accelerated degradation. That's the kind of stuff it can be even seen. It can be recorded. So uh, I don't think I would be legible for all this information if it was not for the bestiality like this, which was universally, we became universally approved. I think it is becoming universally disapproved. And I think all along it was universally disapproved by a lot of people. You have to be especially mentally ill to see yourself in doing stuff like this to somebody. Especially, really, because I really, really, because I was so um, minimum wage individual. I was a, such a minimum wage individual, you know. I worked for five bucks an hour. At the beginning, I didn't have the right to work for other than a part time minimum wage. I also worked for below minimum wage in the United States of America. And I had my Jewish employers frequently steal money from me. And they have stolen from me thousands of dollars. My case is really, really interesting. The man who is a super, super minority in the United States of America, like the biggest minority in the United States of America, a fucking Slovenian, with, from a country with just 2 million people, registered with just 2 million people, I was an ultra, ultra minority. You don't even understand the degree of violation of your case you have committed yourself to. Whether you are a Jew or you are a white Aryan or whatever the fuck you are, because you're working together. That's why I title you as a zeo fascist, as a zeo Nazi movement. You don't even have the fucking idea based on your Equal Employment Opportunity Commission booklet what kind of extermination procedure you committed. This is not about discrimination. It's about complete extermination. You have surpassed stuff that's not written about in your Equal Employment Opportunity Commission booklets. Laws in the United States of America that cover your you surpassed that greatly. You blended your extermination procedure into Big Brother is watching you against like a super, super minority that finally got a hold of American citizenship somehow, however, which was used further for espionage purposes and to subject me into a, a member of the Holocaust group such as Slovenian. It was a lot of people. Read a little about how many people was exterminated percentage-wise. Slovenian during the World War II alone. And what our history was before that. You are so fucked that I guarantee you, you're going to be banned from the Holocaust cause. If you are a Jew, you should understand you as a community, society as whole, will be banned from the Holocaust cause, because you caused so much, so many trouble, not only to me, but also foremost to other people, weaker people than yourself, such as Palestinian Gazan people. For you 
to run over and exterminate the group of people that are minor group, lesser, uh, weaker. For you, this is like ice cream. It's nothing really. As I especially, you don't deserve any place within a Holocaust, despite what Adolf Hitler committed during the World War II was atrocity against six millions of Jews in Europe. This is a very, very tricky issue. But it really depicts uh, perfectly the mind of uh, Jews, basically the Jewish uh, culture in the United States of America and also worldwide. It's always based on now. Uh, it's an organized crime based on extortion. And in the case of what you see right there, is a cousin, whatever he is, uh, a relative from Kamala Harris's husband. Uh, his wife is, will go, according to EEOC booklet, into the category of the white uh, Latinos. And, uh, well, uh, the club, the golf club, was uh, some sort of white boys club, uh, predominantly matched uh, and also accessed by the white, what they refer to as a white clientele. Uh, and, uh, since uh, this man is a uh, Jewish, uh, and apparently that I discriminated against in that case, maybe I discriminated against uh, his wife by suggesting that she is a Latina to uh, owners of this golf club because this is what you does it's an organized crime they brainwash you and they make you complain about something they want you to complain about uh and so they could pull behind entire latino community against you right so this is what this case this kamala harris and her husband uh, is all about, yeah. Uh, it's not even about her being a white uh, Latina, for which many have uh, anticipated that uh, because, you know, he was my friend, you know, he was my brother during MK Ultra. I am just being really, really sarcastic here. Uh, this is a lunatic, clearly a lunatic. Just as his uncle and his aunt, who believe that through the torture, through abuse, I literally would see one uh, as a friend, as a comrade, who had other Jews uh, and even Slovenian police uh, act in front of me paranoid, suggested me, insisted me on the issue that he's doing it for me, actually, that he is filing the lawsuit, that he would file the lawsuit against the club uh, so that he, who is uh, of a darker color, skin color uh, would demonstrate to me his allegiance to my cause, to the so-called white cause. So this was a front they opened through which they have confused a lot of white, the so-called white people. Uh, and, but on the other hand, uh, I believe they would extort literally through the torture Literally, through the bestiality they performed with me, 
uh, on the issue reminded me and people about on my being sensitive to uh, to Hispanic names, uh, to the Latino community. Uh, so, just as I stated, it's an organized crime. Uh, in this case, right now, with big smiles all over their face, acting like gods, like judges. But, you know, hopefully, they will be able to maintain this innocence also at the court of law. What I want to say to you about, about this post here. You're not committing the crimes on Twitters. Like this guy here complains about how it was at the country club and this and that. Fuck the country club, man. Look at my resume, what the fuck you did with my employment, how you make me look for employment all over the world, from door to door like a dog. It wasn't about minimum wage, as I stated. You, do, you target the people that you list them together in like really really way basically to murder people to kill people with idea to rip them apart completely when you smell that like myself i invested in a new york stock market exchange i invested in american companies i was ripped everywhere wherever I, whatever i was doing i was proven wrong about in my life stolen the money absolutely whichever way i turned um, what you do is you're specialized basically in killing people systematically in complete agreement with your owners. Uh, you are just, I'm going to say, uh, you, you cause damage and devastation to the people that are the most exposed people, the most vulnerable in American society. Was there like anybody more vulnerable than I was in the United States of America? Well, you're going to answer to these issues to the court of law, right? You have the Supreme Court, you have those kind of stuff, and you're going to answer those questions also at the United Nations. So you target the most vulnerable uh, with exactly what you have right there at the end, left nothing other than smile. Because I came to the United States of America to save myself and with what you were very well acquainted with here in Slovenia was taking place against me. So one thing is to file charges based on Twitter or uh, based on some insults that you should absolutely not take whatever. And another one is to have grant the individual right to file, uh, you know, discrimination suit uh, based on his work experience, based on what he goes to the workplace and so on, based off even what was used to systematically turn me, to blacklist me, uh, as good as that, basically list me, uh, it's employment systematically basically to suggest oh well you know the guy is not stable at work and so on and so forth you know you continue to go on and we can actually we can actually see what that looks like in post situation and you can see how many people let's say visited my blog 12 14 uh, the situation is even much better if i go let's say to my youtube channel and i demonstrate you the stuff that goes on so you block him either way basically systematically uh through advertisement through ability to earn income in absolutely any way yeah and this is your jewish strength this is your power your ability to murder uh what your white masters are using you for so that you can like this uh you know interact boss basically uh 
using you in a, exactly the same fashion as they always used to use you. You know, the Dutch and Anglo-Saxons historically used to use you as a slave traders. Historically looking, you used to trade with the slaves, with the people. Historically, you were one of the biggest slave owners, slave traders. And it's what, historically looking, you have a problem with Ukrainian people because you used to trade. There used to be this. It's also erased from the internet. You also deleted that from the internet so that people could not inform themselves. But it was a time where you used to sell the Ukrainian people like a bananas, like a apples. You used to trade with them. Remember that? Where you used to go and you used to sell the Ukrainian people like a bananas? Uh, uh, the, Jewish the Jewish community, community in Ukraine. In Ukraine. Uh, but uh, this is the same thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is a very, very, very tricky, tricky issue. issue. And by all the rules of uh, getting myself in trouble, uh, I should not I even discuss this. But because, well, because, you know, you know this, this is a little bit sick. sick. It's got to be a little bit sick, right? right? You gotta make it a little bit spicy stuff. Uh, um, um, I will discuss. I'm gonna discuss this. Come on, come on. Did you know that uh, Ukrainians, uh, prior to a Russian invasion on Ukraine, for which everybody knew it's gonna take place, do you know that Ukrainian government had to agree to a Jewish, to the Jews, to the Israel conditions? Uh, they were all backed by United States of America government and its Western allies. Do you know they had to agree to American government to literally uh, keep silent about Jews running a slave trade throughout Ukraine, basically trading, making business out of the slaves with Ukrainian people? Do you know that Knesset, that Israeli parliament, conditioned Ukrainian government uh, to keep silent, absolutely remove all the documents, any kind of testimony about Jewish slave trade throughout Ukraine uh, from a public view to receive a NATO support, to receive a military support against coming Russian invasion? Do you know anything about this? Well, these are facts that were discussed during MK Ultra ongoingly for no less than 10 years. It was negotiations that took place. The thing about it is they, uh, about the Jews, is that they negotiated the very same issue with the Western governments, with the Dutch, with the Germans, with British, with everybody. Very, very same type of issue. And the only problem that remained for them in respect to human slave trade as one of the main businesses of the Jews was a Ukraine. So when I consider that I, I'm going to be, I'm just going to stop here. I'm going to be stopped here because I cannot deny. I'm not a Holocaust denier. Uh, and I'm not going to say Holocaust denier. I'm not a Holocaust denier. Uh, but I'm not a Stephen Bandera supporter. I don't see myself through uh, what follow up this historic Jewish presence in Ukraine. But if you, tra if you trace a Black Sea slave trade as one of the issues, and it was not the only issue pertaining to the Jewish slave trade in Ukraine, It started off very, very, very early on. 
very, very, very early on, and it never, ever stopped. Uh, the man eventually who stopped this Jewish Holocaust of Ukrainian people and who was listed in a circle of Illuminati people, literally as a schizophrenic, too bad they didn't have that type of medical definition in 1800s. Was this guy here? Was Kmelnitsky? His name is a Kmelnitsky. Did you know anything about this? That Ukraine actually posed the biggest threat to the Jews because of its historic uh, abuse of Ukrainian people, hijacking, abducting daughters, wives throw them basically on a pedal on a on a slavery sale pedal and sell them resell them did you know anything about this stuff this guy was listed in illuminati circle as a schizophrenic and he was listed by the jews from israel by the knesset as a predecessor of the other hitler they rank him into the same category of the other hitler his name is kmelnitsky Psychiatry, psychiatry literally was the name of the game when it comes to the Jews involved in MKR. When it comes to Israel, Israel is psychiatry. That's all there is to it. And there is a sentence I was demonstrated in MK Ultra. They actually ridiculed Kmelnitsky for his uprising against the Polish and Jewish nobilities, as they refer themselves. Yeah, Poland occupied, uh, basically exercised apartheid, really bad stuff went on. Ukraine for a very, very long time under Lithuanian Commonwealth. I cite Kmelnitsky told people that Poles had sold them as slaves into the hands of accused Jews, accursed Jews. With this as their battle cry, Cossacks, and so on and so forth, yeah? So they presented this issue to me under MK Ultra is that he was a schizophrenic, completely indifferent from me. And if I would even bring this subject to the surface, that I would be listed as a, as a schizophrenic indefinitely. The one who supported psychiatry, the main supporter of psychiatry against me, was a state of Israel, this was a Knesset Jew was the number one psychiatrist in this case, next to the Britons, next to the British royals from London. This was like a major ally from the Britons from London. 1-800-London-Cabal. Everything I have stated on my blog is so factual, they couldn't be more factual. This is also one of the reasons I will allege in a lawsuit against the Israel. Exactly this issue, exactly this issue was one of the reasons for psychiatry why Israel wanted me dead at all the costs. Jews did not want any kind of presence about any documents, anything that would suggest what their main business was on Europe, or I should say throughout the history. They didn't want any kind of documents, any kind of historical documents, truth to be known, to be seen. Very few people know, very few people know about this stuff here. Very few people know. Everybody knows about Stefan Bandera. Everybody even knows about Kmelnitsky. I, it's an issue I discuss in continuation. And nobody knows anything about this here and when it all started in year 900. Nobody knows anything how it all started. Ukrainians also had to agree we'll list next to the Jewish slave traders at Turks, Arabs as complacent in this trade, responsible. 
did absolutely everything possible to share the blame and foremost for the truth to never surface. This was one of the conditions I was subjected to by American Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. As per, you will talk about this stuff, you will never get rid of psychiatry. You are good as that. You're listed as that. What do you think about this, Mr. M. Hoff? Mr. Kamala Harris, what do you think about Mrs. Kamala Harris, what do you think about this issue? You can go and you can you can extort, you can you can suggest whatever you want to suggest, whatever recordings, videos you have, and you can present that to the people. That's not a problem, but I will present the people true too. No, I don't see myself absolutely in any way, I'm gonna say in your uh in your white boy club, which you try to use again, you brainwash me with in respect to your golf club with your white boys on how jewel that is it actually really is is perfect it's really really perfect because it's really perfect issue because he's not a light color is his latina wife and look at that he positioned himself right in front of her to protect her Latino interests. Of course, the whole thing was meant to basically present me as a racist biggest bigot against the Latino community through the eyes of Jews and basically make burlesque out of the whole thing. It's not funny when I lost to you, to your psychiatry issues, 52 years of life. I left the United States of America, but I will return. You did make me leave United States of America. You did destroy me absolutely everywhere you possibly could. But you didn't destroy me, and the truth is out. Uh, nobody, really. Because nobody had opportunity and ability to discuss. So what am I going to tell you about this issue that I started, for which... Benjamin Netanyahu, I'm sure you're familiar with Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, entire Knesset decided that uh, I am Adolf Hitler, that I'm bad like Adolf Hitler. Uh, and well, that's because there was another man in the history uh, of Ukraine, which was massively uh, killed Jews. Unbelievable, but Jews that engaged themselves in a very, very unethical practice. And this is why I'm going to discuss. You know, do you know why I'm going to discuss this issue? I wouldn't. But I will, because it was not only in Ukraine. I will, because it was also in Holland that Dutch have used Jews, and in Germany, Germans have used Jews, and in Britain, British have used Jews, and other have used Jews for the slavery in Ukraine. That's why it doesn't make me feel guilty. I'm not even Ukrainian, even a bit, to discuss this issue. Even a bit. So, guess what I will? I will take on the defense that I received from Benjamin Netanyahu, from his politicians, from the, from the Knesset, uh, and based on which, during MK Ultra, if I would ever discuss this issue, I would be even rated as, I don't know, second coming of the Hitler. Oh, well, the thing is that I don't see myself as a Hitler absolutely anyway. Uh, Hitler does me no good, and I had nothing to do with it. I became opinionated about this shit because of the Jews. Oh, sick video it is. Oh, look at the sick face I'm making right now.
You know, maybe the biggest contribution of the Jews to this whole thing, well, basically is sickening of the people like myself, turning them into something they must have, basically, to have their Holocaust story going, right? Yeah, this Holocaust story must be universal, because if it's not universal, you cannot get one going. So that's why the sick video, so that I can get as many nationalities and as many people as I possibly can on my board to see themselves basically in violence and they understand a reality that applies to them. So they wouldn't be used basically to engage against the Holocaust. In my case, it was without my having the ability to defend myself. But there's a lot of people being used to the that they don't even, they're not even aware of the I was told. In the circle of people I was, there was a lot of people they got, they were not even aware about what was taking place against them. So that's why this video is so sick. <laughs> Bogdan Kmelnitsky was a Ukrainian. The name I have stated is written in a Thora. God forbid. If you state that name, you're already off with you. Bye bye. So it is, is what uh, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission decided that Bogdan Kmelnitsky on the internet is written all about how the Petty article and murdered all the Jews. In 1650 in Ukraine, uh, leaving nine behind, uh, he managed to slaughter over 33,000 Jews. I mean, you go look at the internet, I doubt you're going to find higher number than that. And it doesn't bother me at all to say this. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all because I'm not here to turn the numbers around to even, I'm going to say, justify the killing of the people, which I do not. This is about some kind of media that should promote, uh, yeah, she did the right thing. No, I don't think he did the right thing. But what are you going to do? Don't feel so bad about it. I mean, this Cossacks did not only stop with the, with the Jews. They went on to kill also Pollocks, and they went on to kill also, uh, I don't know, who else. Like, did they kill, uh, you know, this was the 1650s, so, you know, in those days, it was like, you know, what the fuck, you know, if I already do this, let's do the whole thing, I suppose. So they were killing everything, they were killing Pollocks, and they were killing all kinds of people, but this man exterminated all the Jews from Ukraine in 1650. 33,000 of them, more than 33,000 of them. The numbers range between 10,000 and 30,000, but this is not the point. Um, the point here is that in 1940, a real Antichrist appeared on a stage, as you know, and his name was Adolf, Adolf Hitler. And when he headed to Ukraine, he mass killed 1.6 million Jews. Wow. Uh, if the Kmelnitsky was the Hitler, as Netanyahu claimed me, uh, then Hitler was like, uh, uh, what, what would it be, like 1,600 times Kmelnitsky or something like that? This was a really bad motherfucker. The damage he did to the Jewish community was overwhelming. But I can't help myself not to ask about how did the, the 33,000 exterminated Jews in 1650 become 1.6 million Jews in 1940, since um, there was no Jew that was left and Ukraine was always so fucking bad. This was the attitude during MK Ultra all the fucking time. If he will say this, 
if he will mention this, if he will this, if he will that. That's because Mr. Netanyahu and Knesset, because you feared of the issue, which I raised today, that's basically that you were a slave traders, your ancestry was slave traders, you engaged in a slave trade, and thanks God you have not done evil only in the Ukraine, which you have listed as good as that, but a man also in Holland, foremost in Holland and foremost in Germany, that's where you really committed shit, and in the United States of America, that's where you really committed shit, in Holland, in Germany, in France and other colonial systems. This is where you actually really, really, really did harm. It wasn't so much in Ukraine that was just subject to so many uh, factors. Jews, sorry, but you know what? The Tatar people are so welcome in Ukraine. Uh, preferred people that Tatar people consider them holy as Ukrainian people. The Tatar people love Ukraine. What is it in it for you that you have a, such a bad experience with Ukrainians? But you also have with absolutely everybody, and with the Polacks, and with the Czechs, and with the Germans, and with British, and with French, and with Spaniards. Uh, and there was a lot of stuff that have taken place, nasty stuff against these people. I completely agree. And don't get me wrong, not everything is so dark. But one thing I appreciate Jewish uh, society is, as for one being well, well, far more aware of World War II than other groups that uh, engaged in one. Let me explain to you something. The Jews are the only group, the only group that still goes on a Nazi hunting. Jews are the only group that go out there and they have a ball actually to grab some German here, some German there, some boy in Argentina, some other dude in the US, some other one hiding in Canada, let's say, uh, or for that matter, whatever the fuck it is, that they took the refuge. Uh, I think still a decent number over there in Germany do for, but this is, this is the fucking thing. Because these are all the issues we discussed during MK Ultra. If you will say that, don't, don't say that because, you know, nobody does like Jews. Jews still go and uh, they keep the memory about the World War II alive. Now, you see, this is what I have a problem with, you all motherfuckers. They don't. You see, the thing is that the memory they keep alive serves them for the nuclear submarines. They serve them for F-35 purchases. They basically serve them lately for a total ethnic cleansing, total wipeout of the Palestinian people from Gaza. And it will serve them to expand themselves due to this super technological advancement, uh, assistance from the U.S. Uh, this is such a superiority with the satellites uh, taking, you know, document and absolutely everything that others don't have practically other than stones to defend themselves with. This rusty AK-47, uh, these grenade launchers, whatever, that you cannot fucking describe. This is like a fucking stone age against, uh, you know, today. Slingshots against machine guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is what I have the problem with. I don't have the problem with Jews hunting Nazis and contributing to the Holocaust. No! Contrary to that, I do not. That's the good part. The thing is, why? 
a motive as to why would they do this kind of stuff. And why is it that the other side collaborates with them so much, uh, it actually assists them, and is using this issue of Holocaust to drive forward, literally, a colonial politics, like the one we see on the Middle East, like the way they designed, they're going to have, you know, they're going to take Sinai Peninsula from Egypt uh, and make the border at the Assad Dam uh, in Syria, and the border that's going to be chartered all the way to Iraq, you know, the name of the greater Israel, uh, who, which will border on Britain somewhere down in Yemen, and others and so on, and you're not going and start the fucking politic like this. So it's quite understandable, uh, even that I earlier mentioned that the Holocaust belongs to everybody, that Jews are not doing it alone, uh, but it's the Jews that are doing it, and not those that should. You understand me, Pollocks, and Czechs, and Slovaks, and the Ukrainians? Ukrainians, poor Ukrainians, poor fucking Ukrainians. The fucking Ukrainians were on the list of Adolf Hitler for extermination. Like you can see in the book of Vienna, they fucking killed, uh, I don't know how many Ukrainians they fucking, you know, they were going to expand the Hungary over there and stuff like this. And these fucking people just have to be guilty for absolutely everything in this world. Everything in this world. I mean, you would not go and even say, Poor motherfucker, all right, you deserve to be also uh, to have a cause that should be recognized by a community, international community, such as a whole lot of more or something like that. Not even this, man. And I know, I know. So you post the article like this, you answer on my issues, you challenge me, and I'm going to challenge you back with these issues. Much of the stuff about the Jewish slavery issues, slavery ownership issues, was totally deleted from the internet and in complete agreement with the Ukrainian government, with Ukrainian state officials that participated in these negotiations. And they had to agree with it, with what you can read about today, if you're going to go and you're going to Google the stuff about the human slavery, you will learn nothing other than uh, in exception to where they will be related to the black uh, trade, actually, black sea trade, what about crazy, black sea trade, as so basically it was based in Crimea, and I collectively blame this kind of issue, which is a really weakness of the Ukrainian government, but yeah, this is, this is basically what they were negotiating with. And Jews are a tough negotiators. They really know how to extort. It was stated you could only read on the internet and the news, the other news disappeared from the internet. In respect to the trade about you know, Black Sea trade, slaves, uh, slavery trade, in nothing more than that. But it was, you bet it was more than that, because, as I stated at the beginning of this, Ukraine was not the only casualty of the Jewish slavery trade. So, let's continue with this. But that somebody is not going to misunderstand me in absolutely any way, I am not defending any kind of extermination procedures against anybody. I'm absolutely against uh, victims of the Holocaust, uh, including those of Jewish origins in Ukraine. I absolutely condemn uh, a type of practice. Uh, however, knowing and understanding the danger that this group of people presents for the Holocaust cause as a whole. Uh, I'm not going to say divide, 
the Holocaust itself, uh, but literally uh, guiding the Holocaust itself in a totally wrong direction for the purposes of the goals, basically, which have caused this mass crime, this Holocaust. Uh, the history repeats itself, and there is a group of people that are actually working for that side that have caused this atrocity during the World War II. Uh, atrocity of homes in Europe, in flames, in fire, in ash, and so on. So, no, do not, do not misunderstand me. I am just making the point here that there's a group of people that totally misrepresent all of us. What can be seen in Gaza through a thorough extermination of Palestinian people, it can be seen through uh, interests for revival of colonialism, imperialism from the Middle East, Africa. Uh, and on top of that, they are using a Holocaust and are supportive, for that matter, uh, to misguide direction, basically, to direct the World War II outcome in a totally, totally wrong direction, soon leaving us all with no choice other but to either participate in colonialism or uh, simply face extermination ourselves. And this is also what the Knesset uh, Israeli parliament also have used me for, exactly what you see here. And uh, they did not even use Jews to do the job for them. They used Anglo-Saxon, German, Americans, uh, white boys, basically. Uh, the stuff that you see here, this stuff here, uh, this stuff dates all the way back to whew, 2017, and that's about just the year that what you see here have taken place. 2018, 2018, from a Slovenian psychiatric hospital to Israel and from Israel or from the U.S. to uh, Palestine, whatever is left out of the Palestine. Uh, the thing is that Israel, as you know, does not recognize Palestine. Uh, they claim it's West uh, Bank people and uh, it's a people of Gaza. But when he, it comes uh, issue very handy when it's about the Adolf Hitler because international community is still mentioning the word Palestinian. So they are asking on streets, basically people here, what do you think about... Hey man, not, no, but why? Which is kind of funny, I mean, when you engage in total extermination, now whatever is left of Palestine, right? It's just this East Bank and Gaza, basically, this is what's left of what used to be Palestine, yeah? Everything else Israel have re replaced, exterminated, I should say. And you wander the streets and, well, you practically used me in it so it's more sophisticated than just uh that you would go out there and harass palestinian people with the issue about hitler um very very provocative i mean they they browse they search they interrogate it and then based on the leads they obtained from this case they would use the people like as if they met them on the street by coincidence offering them interviews, you know? This was another specialty of the Knesset, you know? And then the massacre followed up, you know? I haven't any... I he killed a lot of people, he... So the Hitler killed uh, Jews because of their racial, because of their ethnic background, as you see here.
These are real Semites. They're more pure than Jews. Uh, and these are actually the people that are being forced through the state of Israel to embrace out of Hitler ideology. Literally through extermination that is taking place against them. So I don't know. Um, yeah, international communities should criminalize issues as seen here. This is more than misinformation. This is a detailed terrorist attack. Knesset exercised literally through me. Uh, it wasn't only this individual, it was other people. They were doing the very same issue. Um, what can I say? I mean, if you see somebody asking people stuff like this, you should always have a smartphone on and audio and video record the individual so that one day, even if he does not post the whole thing on YouTube, whatever, uh, you go and you do it. You point out an individual who does that to you, interrogating you like this on your streets, uh, dividing humanity basically on an issue on Adolf Hitler in the midst of the genocide extermination procedure, and you, put, and you place the motherfucker online for the world to see for what it is. It's a sad story. This is real. He burned a lot of people. He ended the lives of so many. He was a bad person. Yes. So, okay, let's hold on, hold on. Hitler. Sure, sure, ask. Okay. okay. So, so what do you think of Hitler? Should I confess Hitler? Tagia. He's a tyrant. Okay. He was also the leader of the Nazis. Okay. Was he good? Was he bad? What do you think? So what he did was not good. Okay. Uh, what do you think of Hitler? That way they also got certain provocateurs, certain people that, uh, and I'm not saying that he is a provocateur, but there certain were people inside that would uh, answer in a way that average Palestinian, aware that he is a Semite, definitely would not favor Adolf Hitler as a historic figure. That's a craziness. That's an insanity. Uh, this is the stuff that was used by Knesset because Knesset uh, wanted to portray uh, extermination of Palestinian, the Gazan people, literally through, through this issue here, Grand Mufti. What Grand Mufti say, they, say they, they keep this thing alive, which is, I don't have anything wrong against this. I don't have anything wrong against the facts. History. I don't have anything, I don't have anything against this. I don't have anything against this issue here, uh, posting it, but I do have when you are misrepresenting the history, when you go out there and you're using the issues with which these people you have interviewed, who also allowed your ancestors, your Jewish ancestors, to stick around, to stay around, to stay in Palestine, share bread with them, basically. Um, to misinterpretate them into something completely different based on one figure out there that's uh, a, some Palestinian mufti, basically. So, you know, uh, really, really bad stuff. Really, really bad stuff. Uh, and it's why you don't fit on a picture of the Holocaust. You don't fit on a picture of the Holocaust in absolutely any way because you're not only misrepresenting Holocaust, but you're taking advantage of the Holocaust to engage in a Holocaust against other nations and using Holocaust literally to restart colonization because the neighbors of the Israel were bound to be also others, such as British, French, uh, other prior known as colonial superpowers. They tried to jumpstart it to the Israel recolonization of Africa and be this. So, it's not good. You Jews do not fit on the picture of the Holocaust. Palestinian people do. It's that part of you in Jews that's known Semitic part that Adolf Hitler wanted to exterminate. That's why they fit on the picture of the Holocaust way more than you do. That's what he was trying to exterminate in you Jews. He was trying to exterminate Semitism, which you, in fact, even embraced through 
Netanyahu literally suggesting that it was not Hitler that tried to exterminate Jews. You got a problem, but because you have a problem, old problem that spans all the way from slave trade to the colonial neo-Nazi issues, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that the entire Holocaust must go to waste. It doesn't mean that the world has to lose its ground. And this attack and others' attack, mm -hmm. other attacks on the Jewish community in 1920, 1921, 1929, were uh, instigated by a call of the Mufti of Jerusalem, Hajjamin al Husseini, who was later uh, sought for war crimes in the Nuremberg trials because he had a central role uh, in fomenting the uh, final solution. He flew to Berlin. Uh, Hitler didn't want to uh, exterminate the Jews at the time. He wanted to expel the Jews. And Khajamin al Husseini went to Hitler and said, if you expel them, they'll all come here. So what should I do with them, he asked. He said, burn them. And he was sought in the, uh, during the Nuremberg trials for prosecution. He escaped it. Later died in cancer after the war, died of cancer in Cairo. But this is what Haj Amin al Husseini said. He said, the Jews seek to destroy the Temple Mount. My grandfather in 1920 seeks to destroy the, sorry, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. So this lie is about a hundred years old. Uh, the Jews uh, historically worked with the Nazis. Jews historically worked with Germany. They Polish state disappeared from the map. Was the day when Jews got their German citizenship. The biggest population in Europe was in Germany and also in Poland. Um, about 40% of the money used, because you're asking how the hell is it possible that the two groups went apart? Why would the two groups go apart? Uh, why would the two groups go apart? You're asking maybe. Why the two, the two groups would go apart? Why, why would it be the Germans would part it from Jews? The answer is very simple to this que to this question. Uh, Jews financed their money was basically used to finance. They initially even supported Hitler. Uh, this new war was coming on a stage. Uh, thirty percent. This is from Haaretz, but it, the figures go more to thirty five percent. Jewish assets seized by the Nazis funded 30% of the World War II expenses. This is how the Jews and Germans parted, one way or another. And another issue, which I have mentioned, which I pointed you out, is actually the real reason why the Jews must be banned from the Holocaust. Hitler tried to kill this DNA here that you see. This is what bothered Hitler. This is what uh, all the people that you see here in this video, everyone was involved in MKUltra. Every person. The different looking is what bothered Hitler, what bothered those who pursued the racial purity. That's why you need to be banned from the Holocaust. Because everybody in this world have the right to the Holocaust. Everybody have the right to truth, to the justice. Everybody has the right to existence.
and you don't have the right to expansion at other people's expense is why basically It was a sad day for Poland. It was a very, very sad day for Poland. When Germans got uh, German citizenship, and Poland no longer existed. It happened in 1812. That's why. This is all. It's got to be sick, right? You're one of the sick. The mass slavery trade in Ukraine, ran by Jews, was one of the toughest negotiation points Ukrainian politicians have faced during negotiations for uh, Ukraine. Uh, they had to uh, face off, basically, on a mass scale with uh, a rebuttal uh, about um, being legible for assistance of any kind from the West by none other than Jews. Bogdan Khmelnytsky, believe it or not, Bogdan Khmelnytsky was rated by the Illuminati circle as the first Antichrist, even the one that other Hitler had learned from, which is obviously fucking insane, but you know, such is the world, right? Nobody relied more on psychiatry, a violent one of the psychiatry than Jews. British supported it, uh, but that was due to totally other issues. That was because of the mental illness issues that pertain to the royal family. That's That was more related to the happiest countries in the world. <laughs> that kind of issue, basically. You know, you know, a little bit Guantanamo, Afghanistan type of stuff. Me talking to you about the happiest countries around the world, basically. Uh, through the local, even government people in Miami, uh, they were willing to, you know, do that dirty stuff. Uh, somebody that had gone through so much and should basically look forward to start basically his life third time back basically in homeland uh, you know, where he came from instead of having some something based on a minimum wage and exploitation theft uh, in the in his country of choice where he became a citizen it was all about, if you're going to say something about this, if you're going to say something about that, we're not going to help Ukraine, the Ukrainians aren't going to get help. Uh, damn, bang. They were not afraid of the Ukraine. They were afraid of the truth. They were afraid of me, and I'm not even Ukrainian. I'm, I got, I'm far away from Ukraine here in Slovenia. I'm not even Ukrainian. And they were afraid of the truth. And true is what I am. For real. Jews historically have three homelands, you know. They had more than three homelands with the Germany. In Europe is one of the biggest, if not the biggest community. And these three homelands today are Israel, that's the number one, and number two is Great Britain. It's number two, and the number, actually, the number two is United States of America, and number three is Britain, you know? Germany lost that uh, second spot, which would be right after Israel. So the first one is Israel, the second one is the United States of America, and the third one is Britain. Um, that's because 
Apart from Israel, the two pay off the most. No longer really pay, but pay off. Pay off because they share the interests, they share the geopolitical interests for the sake of the Israeli state. Um, weaponry supply to Israel. Um, and they are really, really well, welfare Jews in Britain, in, in the United States of America. Of course, everything is an inequality, a Holocaust. It will be returned next to espionage, therefore, a global espionage. Also, the return with equal employment opportunity commission acting as a broker. Uh, yeah, when I say this, you know, you should know absolutely. They are the best employees, the best representatives at the EEOC. They are the best lawyers, they are the best doctors. They are absolutely the best. In where we go in the US, you will not get any better. And that's because you cannot prove them wrong. And you cannot prove them wrong. You see how sick this video is. <laughs> You cannot prove them wrong because of the political lobby they have. And this political lobby is due to reasons I have insisted in this video. In the United States of America, ranging anywhere from the Congress all the way to the White House. Simply limitless, limitless, unlimited. And because the Jews now have their historic homeland, I, I do believe uh, the word I was looking for to earlier, and I really don't like that. It's for the Gentiles. I don't like that word. I don't like Russian, I don't like any of that stuff. But anyhow, uh, because they have that historic homeland and are now a nation in different from all other nations, I should also treat it as such without any exemptions to the laws that pertain to discrimination, the recent laws at EEOC. I'm going to say thank you very much for this here. It's actually good. So that makes obviously like the first case ever recorded in the history of the United States of America. Uh, recorded actually is discrimination a lawsuit against another uh, Jewish group in the United States of America. Yeah, so makes it almost illegal for you to file a lawsuit against Jews in the United States of America. Yeah, definitely, definitely not a democracy. Definitely uh, a proof that you are the biggest racist, the biggest racist bigot. Yeah, I go, you look at your laws, what they tell that you're not allowed to intermix with others in all that kind of stuff, good stuff that you have calling us, uh, I don't know, those fucking words that you have, uh, sick stuff, basically. Um, it doesn't matter because I, I don't want to get into it, okay? I just want to make... I want to set the record straight so that you're not going to wander into some kind of delusions about who is what here in this case and how it all come or where is it going. I let you straight back on your track to know that you're going to listen to me. You are going to fucking listen to me, not Biden, not Obama. And actually, some clowns thinking that they, you're going to fucking that you're going to meddle, not mediate, as you refer to as, and they refer to as EEOC, into this stuff. You will not. Oh, you bet this was recorded on March 15, 2024.